used to be being loud, hanging out, making moves all over town, trying to be cautious, showcasing my style. Everybody wanna know what's going down. That's not how I'm living now. I did a 360, turn my whole life around. Now I roll the keys again, yeah, I like how that sound. I wanna go to heaven where there's no sin allowed. The sin is I convert it and change. People say I'm different since I came out the game. Beauties, it is CC at Frugal Goddess. I am coming to you today with um a just a little how-to video. Now, I don't know if you like me. Sometimes, like I could wear uh dark wigs or black wigs, and I'm perfectly okay with them. I don't have a problem with them, and they're cool. Other times it's like I put it on, I'm like, mm, I want some highlight to it, or man, I wish I had got this in a 1B30 or 1B27. Well, I saw this other video a while ago, and I said um, I was going to try it. Well, y'all know me. Never got around to trying it. So, I ordered this wig. This is the Black Pearl wig that I uh, reviewed on Wednesday. And I added, extended the part a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I extended the part a little bit. And I added some highlights to it. Can you see the highlights? So it's now it's like an equivalent of a 127. Well, I'm going to share with you how I added these highlights. <clears throat> First of all, let me get my spray. Y'all know I be always unorganized. And I added a little color to my backdrop. Y'all know I love pink. I want to do it. I'm going to do it a little bit better. I just did this real quick. And so I am going to do it a little better um, where it'll cover the whole backdrop and everything. But this is just a little piece of sparkly material. And um, the next video you see, it will be put up correctly. But I thought it was really cute. And I got some uh, a couple of other ones. Because um, I wanted you to be able to see to be your own kind of beautiful. But you can't see that anyway with me sitting up here. So, anywho. Um, I might change the letters around. Anywho, let's get on with what this is about. Because y'all know I get to rambling. So, um... I saw on the video, the girl had some brownish or goldish color eyeshadow. So, this is what I have. I have the, uh, what is this? LA Colors Baby Pop Eyeshadow. And this is in a color golden. And this is like 90 cents or 98 cents or a dollar at Dollar General. So, and I bought this specifically for this color. For this uh, project we're doing, I have another color that's lighter than this, but I think it would probably be too light unless you really, really want some really kind of stand outish highlights. So I'm gonna show you what I did. If I can get the eyeshadow open. First, I'm gonna drape my towel around me, you guys, because you will get some fallout. So I would advise doing this um, before you get dressed or what have you. Get this on me right. <laughs> So, let's find a piece of hair here. We're going to go under here. We're going to get this piece of black hair right here. And all you do, it is so, so simple. All you do, you get you a piece of hair. And you um, take the eyeshadow. And you press it against the eyeshadow. And you just run it over there. That's it. And if you can see, there's the highlight. There's the color to it. So you could just go through. Like for me, I just did some to frame my face because that's really what I wanted. I wanted some highlight around my face. And the good part about this, you guys, is you can actually choose where you put the highlight. It, and then the other thing to do, because you're going to see, you're going to get some fallout. Wherever you highlight it, just find you some type of hairspray to spray it and seal it. That's it. That is it. And then if you do a curly wig, the good thing about the putting the hairspray on the curly wig is that it's going to stop it from freezing and blowing up. Like, you know, sometimes with our curly wigs like this one, this one is going to get really huge. But sometimes we get to a point with the bigness that... Okay, it's big enough. When you get to that point, spray it down with a little water first. Get your tangles out. 
and then a little water or this stuff right here, you guys. If you are a synthetic wig wearer, this is like the um, holy grail of synthetic wig wearers. So spray a little of this on there. Um, get all the tangles out and then spray it with a little hairspray. But anywho, that's all I wanted just to show you guys how you can add some highlights to your wigs. As you can see, this has a brownish tone around the face now. Um, I will include a picture right here of what she looked like before I added the highlights. Um, very satisfied with this wig. I am like totally in love. You know, I have forgot why I love my big curly wigs. I have been wearing like the straighter wigs and the uh, um, more flatter wigs here lately. And oh, y'all, I'm getting ready to run out of time. So anyway, I want y'all to remember to be your own kind of beautiful. And don't forget to tell somebody you love them. Don't wait too late. Later. I love you. Later.